does it quack? The game show that lets you decide on what works in finding happiness. I'm Jack, your host, and... I'm Jill, your co-host. Together, we'll begin this magnificent journey leading to a more happier you. Say, Jack, do you think they remember how our show works? Well, there are always some ignoramuses that might have forgotten. So, why don't we go over the basics, Jill? Sure, Jack. But first, let's introduce Woody, our wood duck mascot. Yes, indeed. This is Woody. <laughs> Say hello to the folks. He doesn't say much, but that's okay. You can quack for him. You see, Woody is a symbol of happiness. He is a wooden duck, the prettiest wooden duck in all of nature. He presides over everything with his austere eyes. Let's get that close up. Yeah! So we bring various guests onto our stage and before Woody. All of our guests claim to have a way, a method, or a way of thinking that will make people happier. That's right. And after they've presented their ideas, we ask Woody and you, our studio audience, to decide if their ideas will work in finding happiness. If yes, you're going to yell, quack, 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 or if no, and you think it's a sham, and you want that charlatan to scram, you'll yell to the, the back, back, and our guest will have to go to the back of the studio. Got that? I think they do, so why don't we have a pretend try, shall we? Okay, Jack. I have some dental floss right here. I say wrapping dental floss around your ears will make you wiser and happier. <laughs> well, folks, what do you say? To the back. I think they've got it. <laughs> yes, sure they do, so it's to the back. Okay, our first guest is a world wrestling female champion. Welcome, Miranda Muscle. <laughs> heard so much about you and seen you on TV. So tell us, Miranda, what is your secret of happiness? Well, I, I pummel him and I pin him. Any chick that gets in the ring with me, she gets to feel the pain. And that makes me happy. Why, Miranda, is that all there is to it? Pummeling and pinning? That brings on Nirvana? Nirvana? I don't go for those old rock groups, Jill, but I will tell you this. I could pin Adele in a second. Or give me Rihanna and Beyonce in a three-way match anytime. That is an open challenge. They'll hit a high C, let me tell you. So pitting people, so pity gives people long-lasting fulfillment. I don't know what you're talking about, Jill, but I'll tell you this. Uh, there is nothing like the solid thwack of a back hitting the floor or the crunch of knees buckling. The orthopedists love me. <laughs> well, I don't know. You don't know. Squat, Jill. Here, let me show you. Hold this, please. <laughs> I feel better. How about you? <laughs> I don't know, Jack. Let's take it. To the audience, what do you think? Uh, I suppose that'll be all right. Uh, maybe we can ask the audience for some big, uh, I mean some volunteers. And uh, I'll measure the brain waves. So who would like to wrestle Miranda? Would you? Come on, don't be shy, don't be shy. Do we have any volunteers? Come up and... Anybody want to fight? Show me what you got. Do you want to fight me? All right. So, folks, then what do you say? Quack, 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 or to the back? Quack, 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 quack. Sounds amazing, quack to me. What do you say, really? I mean, you gotta be honest here. Quack, quack, quack. 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 To the back. I think they said to the back. Yeah, that's what I heard, really. <laughs> Sorry, Miranda. Why don't you come back next week with that Tai Chi idea you told me about? It's much tamer, and I'll bet you they'll love it. Oh, what do they know? Nothing. Bunch of losers. Chickens! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry she 
has such an attitude. My, my. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But I'm sure we have another great presenter lined up, don't we, Jill? You betcha, Jack. Our next presenter is Kim Chi King. King, come out here. Ah, welcome, King. <laughs> Jack, Jill. It's so glad to be here to tell the world about the amazing powers of kimchi. And exactly what are those amazing powers, King? Our audience wants to know if it cracks, right? So let's hear some early noise. Don't give us a real big cracker to the back, just a little taste. Wow. Here, put your nose up to this, and you'll all be quacking a happy tune. Oh, P.U. Easy there, Jill. It's the stink that takes you over the brink. <laughs> uh, why don't you try one, Jill? Mmm. Uh, so, so, Jill. Are you happier? Well, it doesn't taste bad once you get used to it. Uh, oh, but, but, but what are, what are you thinking now? What's your mood like? I mean, are you thinking about Lilacs, <laughs> the Mona Lisa, or Michelangelo's David? No, Jack, my appointment for a root canal on Tuesday. <laughs> Here, Here, Jack, try this morsel of spicy goodness. Let me try one. And I'll measure your brain waves. Oh, see? It tingles as it goes down, activating not only your gastrointestinal system, but also your endorphins. So what are you doing there, King? I mean, I'm plenty ticklish. It does seem to be part of the treatment, Jack. Your brain waves are getting a bit higher. Oh, no. Woody, what do you say? Woody's not quacking. Quack, Woody, quack. So how about you, folks? What do you say? Quacker, to the back. I'm sorry, King, but uh, the audience has spoken. <laughs> Fools! Maybe you can take your line down at the Asian market. If you'd like, I can help you get a low-cost business loan. Danged non-believers! I mean, I need somebody or something to straighten me out, or my mind is going to the back. Oh, you look like you have a fever. Oh, you're burning up. What's up with you? Monica is threatening to leave me. Again? And this show's getting clobbered in the ratings. I mean, have you seen the recent Nielsen ratings? I mean, every time we're on the air, half the city's at a Bernie Sanders rally. And Pedro told me this morning that he's not long for this world. Let me get this straight. You talk, your dog talks to you? <laughs> Pedro is very intelligent. You're weirder than I thought. Uh, don't tell anyone, promise? You need help, more than this show. But, but don't talk about it, don't think about it too long. We're back on in 10 seconds. I don't know if I can make it. You have to! Pull yourself together, man! And we're back! Welcome back to Does It Quack? A uh, show that gives you the best routes to happiness. I, I Give understand. Give a hand to our co-hosts, Jack Esmeralda and Woody! I understand, Jill, that 
We have a very special treat in store for us now. Right you are. Our next presenter has pioneered a brand new form of yoga, bubble yoga. Oh, great. I could use some amazing new ideas. I, I. Oh. Yourself together. No one wants to see or hear your problems. <laughs> Welcome Yasmina the Bubble Yogi. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I have marvelous news for you and your audience. <laughs> what is that odd machine you're carrying? All in good time, dear. Now, may I explain my form of yoga to your audience? Of course. And then we'll decide if it's quack, quack, quack or to the back. Yes. <clears throat> My form of yoga is a variant on laughter yoga, or hasya yoga. It is a respected form of our art whose chief exponent is Madan Kataria. Have you heard of it? No, but there are a lot of stuff I don't know, right, Jill? Like I'm always saying, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the premise, a proven one, by the way, is that laughter increases endorphins and releases serotonin. In any case, this will bring us closer to peace and calmness in our inner souls. Are you ready to give it a try? Yes! yes. And you folks in our audience, and, and you at home, <clears throat> feel free to get into your favorite sacred yoga pose, like this. Get into a pose, come on. <clears throat> Good. Now, begin reciting your favorite mantra, if you have one. If not, simply recite, Om. Om. While you're meditating, I will gently spray you with beatific bubbles. These will bring you close to the bliss of nirvana if you let them. Feel as the bubbles gently splash against your skin, creating little explosions of happiness. And note the increased joy you will feel. Oh. Shall we give it a try? Oh. Are you feeling it yet? Oh, yes! You? And Jack, how about you? Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! yes. yes. Well, folks, are you feeling it? Yes. Quack, if you're feeling quack, it! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, yes! Quack, 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 quack! Quack, 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 quack. quack, 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 quack. Well, yes, Mina, you qualify as a possible finalist based upon our happy meter, Woody, and our audience response. We might bring you back for our lightning round, so take a break. And now, we're ready for our final guest of today's show. And who might that be, Jack? Why, it's Randy Rainbow. Randy, come on out here. <laughs> This is fantastic! Wait till you see the new reality I have in store for you. Oh, uh, well, we're all ears, Randy. No! Eyes, Jack! Eyes! It's the eyes that count! Oh, so pray tell! I mean, what is your prescription for happiness? You see, we gotta let the light into our minds. I mean, not just the plain old light, but the new light. The light that's all around us in so many colors. So many exciting and, and vibrant hues of joy and shades of pure happiness. <laughs> Whatever do you mean, Randy? That sounds like ludicrous nonsense to me. Psycho... Psycho ludicrous... Psycho... Uh, scientific uh, mumbo jumbo! Don't have a spell, Jill. You don't know the drill. So, Randy... So spill it for us. I mean, we're still in the dark. Okay, well listen closely. You need to look on the bright side of things. It's just that simple. Look at reality through a new, happier lens. That is so incredibly naive. I'm sorry to say that, Jack, but even for this show, no. what if, let's just say, God forbid, that a loved one were to pass away? 
According to you, we just look at it through multicolored lenses. Well, now look, hear me out. I mean, yes, that, but the colors, they're just a start, Jill. You see, I mean, I'm not saying that it's all. I'm not saying that's a cure for happiness, but you can start by looking at what you do have to be thankful for. You see, I'm the happiest, and you should all be too. Here, Jack, try these on. Oh. And you too, Jill. Here, put these on. All right, now, what do you see? Wow! You're another ma an amazing Randy. The whole world sparkles with the colors of the rainbow. It's a whole new lovely world. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm glad you thanked me, Jill. And not just because I'm an egotist, although I am. <laughs> but if there's one thing I learned in life, it's thankfulness is the most important thing. You mean that, Randy? I mean, even more than loving thy neighbor? Yeah, because, well, that can get you in lots of trouble. <laughs> but seriously, folks, thankfulness is the thing. It's the best thing for us and for others. You mean thankfulness trumps mindfulness? Oh, don't use the T word. There's nothing thankful about that guy. Uh, well, this is, no. this is not, this doesn't sound so real. It, it, it's not so real to me. I mean, you know, Randy, I'm, I'm suffering in many ways right now. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Don't shush me. I know what I'm doing. R Randy, I mean, your glasses are, you know, they're fun, but I'm, I mean, they're not touching my inner pain. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, Randy? Do you want to share that with the entire studio audience and the millions of people in our TV audience? <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with us, Jack. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that privately. But um, I'm sure we can find something big for you to be thankful for, too. Uh, just like the ancient Greek stoic philosopher Epictetus says, he is a wise man who grieves not for that which he does not have, but rejoices for all that he does. Powerful words, Randy. Jack and I would like you to stick around for our finale, so yes. please do. Joy, put him on, come on, it's a fun ride, people. <laughs> and folks, we'll be right back after these messages. to our best contestants, our highest scoring contestants. Well, we have Randy Rapo. Please, I'm going to ask him to come out, out here again. And we're going to bring back another high score. Let's hear it for Yasmina. Yay. Are you ready? Now, if you like Yasmina's bubble yoga the best, let's hear some loud quacks. <laughs> Quacking there, Jill. I'll say. Now, let's hear for Randy Rainbow. Quack, quack, <laughs> you know, Jack, it's 
never happened in the history of our show, has it? I don't recall, Jill, because tonight we, we have, have a tie! <laughs> Everybody wins! You too, audience! Hey, Ben, I know you gave some, but if you have more glasses, why don't you share them with the audience members? We do. Can I bring my helpers out? Yes, sure. Come on, ladies. And give them a shot, yes, Nina. Okay, folks, Woody has something to say. What do you guys say? Quack, 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 quack. quack. <laughs> All right, folks. All right, be careful of those bubbles now. There's puddles forming there, so make sure you don't slip. Okay, and stay happy and keep on quacking. Drive, drive and walk safely. We'll see you later. So, let's personally thank a few people. Can you turn on the, uh, I want a mic. Alright, let's hear it for the man who played Zachary, the grain dealer, and Kim Chi King, incredibly demented and talented Dave Bogar. The next star is the unbelievable woman playing mom and Demeter and Jill the host. Karen X Dinosaur Kissing! Next we have the leader of the game show, a male leader and a customer, and Thomas Abraham. He came late to the show and swam right in. He came halfway into the show and did a magnificent job. Rehearsing in his car. <laughs> and now one of our great assistants, um, an applause sign holder, the incredibly adorable Asiana Wild. <laughs> Next we have another demented person, but in a delightful way. The unbelievably talented, arrogant Elvin and enthusiastic Randy Rainbow, Paul Del Senor. Yeah. Next we have the woman playing Ariadne, and uh, Miranda Muscles, and Yasmina, the yoga guru. Next we have um, Cam Cameron, the stage manager, who kept all these little objects together. Cameron. Yeah. And hidden in the shadows, we'll come out for one second. The sound manager, Amy Green. Yeah. And the woman who brought it all together, the inimitable and multi-talented. <laughs> yeah. Thespian and director, first time director. Did she do a good job? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Thank you, folks. Uh, we have refreshments. If, you, if you'd like to go, you can. But if you want to stay around for a chat with the cast, we welcome you if you people ask to do that. So if the actors can stay here, we'll get some chairs on stage. And thank you. I hope you enjoyed the evening. If you want to chat, stick around. Thank you. Yeah.